Hello, hello. Welcome to Coffee Craft. That'll happen eventually. Sorry about that. Uh, it seems that XSplit and Twitch were having a bit of a tiff, and it took a little while to get... <laughs> what we have here was a failure to communicate. All right. Enough of the jokes and all that. Uh, today... Today I was going to spend a little time working on expanding out the base a little bit. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the roof. So in the time-honored tradition, I'm going to ignore that and move on to other things. Um, <laughs> I do I do want to show a couple other things uh, before we get there, though. Let's, uh, let's hope I don't get murdered stepping out the door. I, I've been meaning to... Uh, bring up that we really we really do need to find a way to light the caldera um because i i've been assaulted a few times out here i do not like it sam i am uh x medic frog has been doing an excellent job with uh getting a slime farm together over this way i've secured the slime for uh for the next phase of the project that I'm about to show you, but uh, <laughs> to to help spawn rates, he's uh, he's just gonna dig straight down and take care of that. We we might help him out with that in a little bit, depending on how stuck on uh, ideas for interiors I get. Uh, I still get to do I still get to do the dining room for the the castle back there. That is uh, that is also on my agenda. I did spend a little bit of time over here expanding out the sugarcane portion of this farm. If you remember a while back, move that off the bar there. Uh, a while back, we just had this one row of 24 sugarcane plants, and I set up uh, five more. Yeah. Yeah. I set up five more of, the, of these modules for six total. And while it did make an increase in production, it's not the it's not the increase I wanted. Like I, I spent some serious time AFK over over the weekend, and yeah, we're we're just now starting on the third double chest. Uh, meanwhile, gunpowder is literally overflowing. Uh, the bones are literally overflowing. The arrows are literally overflowing, and the zombie flesh is about to overflow again after Arcadius brought like two or three shulker boxes down to the village trading villager, the, the cleric, the the dude I'm probably going to go trade with for uh, for some emeralds. So uh, I'm just going to take uh, I'm just going to take the same basic basic setup over here and replicate it up that, that's partly why i started here so if i needed more i could just build up and uh well we now know how that goes good thing we got an iron farm so i can get more uh more bars to set across there <laughs> um yeah i am gonna oh i'm gonna need to get some more shroom lights or or i'll just get glowstone i mean it doesn't matter just so long as there's light and we do have that cleric uh zombie flesh for glowstone i guess is uh gonna be the order of the day i got a bunch more observers but uh yeah the, the, this does okay i just i need it to do a little bit better so that that's probably going to be another another weekend type project because uh, no, nobody wants to see me just laying down the same blocks for that over and over and over again. Uh, I've already shown it off once, and uh, and that was about it. I also need to go down to a build that will eventually find its final home uh, somewhere, but for now, so we can have our mass melting. I set up one of the things that I showed off in uh, in the redstone testing world a while back, and um, I almost want to build a, a flight tunnel. I guess I could try to fly down there. This monstrosity, which I still don't think I did exactly like I did in the redstone testing world. Something seems a little different, but it works, so I'm not going to complain. 
Uh, it is a carpet duplicator based smelting array. We get a whole 16 fern eye that uh, it does seem to work out pretty well. Um, I have noticed that on a couple of occasions it does not um, it doesn't distribute the items as evenly as I would have expected. But also, that seems to happen when you're putting in a weird number of items, so that uh, that could be a big part of it too. At some point, I will come back through and put uh, put some levers or something so you can get the XP out of here uh, without too much fuss. But that's uh, that's a uh, that's a project for when when we get to uh, the final the final setup. Eventually, I will set up uh, two more of these, one with smokers and one with um, blast furnaces. Because uh, if you need ores smelted in a hurry, the blast furnaces it really is the way to go. Same with uh, food in the smoker. But uh, yeah, the, those, the, those three little carpets on top of the, the dead coral fan which seems to be the the go-to for duplication technology a couple of honey blocks and we got the automatic on off so literally all you got to do load up the input chest and sit um i kind of i need working on this reminded me that i really do need to put an on off switch for this farm here I need to figure out a way to route some redstone up into a lamp that will, <laughs> that will turn this on or off. Because uh, these guys piling up while I was working on this was not fun. Um, so, yeah. That, that's, on, that's on the agenda. Especially if we ever end up uh, making that a uh, storage center or not. Or whatever we end up doing with that big old room down there. All right, let me get my sword ready. Because like I said, th this is still a rough neighborhood. I mean, we got a couple of torches here and there. But um, I I've been I've been shot on my way home from places. And yep, you didn't see me, Creeper. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? Um, oh. These guys have been very busy. I, I want to say I did this, what, uh, Friday? And we've got one full double chest, two almost full double chest, and, and a bunch of stuff backing up in the hoppers, and then everything else is going to go into bone meal. So these guys have been super busy. Uh, part of that is also because I've been over here working on the bees. You'll notice I just got these two hives left up here. Three bees apiece, one producing honey bottles, one producing honeycomb. Because I've got eight beehives with three bees apiece, after breeding them up with poppies from the iron farm, um, I've got, so I can do an eight hive array for bottles they are the bees knees and an eight hive array for honeycomb i'm hanging on to them because i'm going to build this on the nether roof uh that way we don't have to worry about the lag spike that happens when you know 16 times three bees all pop out of the nest first thing in the morning um yeah, apparently servers don't like that too much, and I'd just as soon not cause any more trouble for myself than I already have. Uh, <clears throat> so that that that's on hold until I get to the nether roof, which I do plan on doing sometime soon, because I really do want to get the, the piglin XP farm thing going too. And end the trading. Anything that makes life easier. Although... Given that we got plenty of zombie flesh coming from the spawner there, I might just toss all the zombie flesh and keep nothing but the gold. Um, that's a thought. That That is a thought that is happening. Uh, I got a placeholder door over there that goes nowhere. Uh, I started trying to work out how big a room I can fit in here. I thought I could get all the way down to the hall here, but that is literally the top of the mountain. 
So I'm going to have to start working my way back and figure out just how big a room I can fit in here. I haven't entirely decided what will go in here, but it's going to be big and it is going to be awesome. And here's where some of the remodeling and whatnot has been happening and where I plan on spending the rest of the stream today. Um, got my six... Uh, six dripstone, six uh, cauldron, lava farm going. Sorry, words. They escaped me. Uh, I got a temporary brewing set up that I think that's going to go either up there or over there. We'll, we'll get to that part in just a second, but just so I can get a couple of potions going. Because I... I know I want to do some, we're probably going to want some water breathing when we finally tackle one of the uh, underwater temples. And night vision for the same, fire resistance for the next time I head on out into the nether. Um, I do need to get my hands on some more magma cream. Uh, I think we got a spawner in the uh, bash. What was that? You know that I've got two full double chests over in... Uh Castle storage full of uh, potions. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. No. Huh. Uh, <laughs> you know I always hook you guys up. Come on, I'm the brewmaster. Um. While <laughs> while while since I'd noticed how slow those guys are to refill, I built up a little bit of a backlog of lava buckets to run my. Uh, I need this cooked like yesterday, like those guys. Because uh, I'm going to need them for some bookshelves in a minute. And I can't remember if I showed this off Friday or not. Or if I even have it done on Friday or not. Yeah, I originally had this roof at the same height as the last one. And then I realized that uh, that door w was two blocks too low for the roof I had set up. Uh, <clears throat> well... Uh, I put out some moss and carpet, and I've got some lights hiding under the mossy carpet, and I threw some candles in there that I'm probably going to get rid of because they, they just seem odd. But uh, I wanted a couple of couple of private stock automated farms, little small things like uh, the the crimson, sorry, the weeping vines. Words they escape me. Um, this grows incredibly slow. It is set up so that way when it drops in front of the uh, the observer, that'll break it off and then it'll start going again. It goes incredibly slow. So I added a little bone meal dispenser set up uh, to <clears throat> speed that up if I need more in a hurry. Uh, I'm probably going to do something very similar with the glow berries. And get a little setup for the glow lichen. Um, both of those, you like if you bone meal the glow berry, the vine, um, it will it will grow another glow berry. It, just like the sweet berries, you can keep bone mealing it for more. Ooh, yeah, never mind. I, I got more sweet berries than I know what to do with. There's no point in setting up a bone meal based thing. Um, a couple of, a couple of flower bone meal setups over here, so that way all I got to do is drop some bone meal in up there, and I can get all the all the two high flowers I need. Tucked in the middle is a little bamboo setup. It is also super slow, but it works. And when that box fills up, it will shut itself off. Um, technically, that one will shut itself off if that fills up too. But I will be. I will be deeply surprised if that ever grows enough to fill up the, a full double chest. Absent uh, somebody feeding it bone meal until it until it tops off. Um, same thing. I uh, just little bone meal setup. Um, I grabs I grab some bones from one of the one of the farms to stock up on uh, bone meal. I'll do something with those before too long. And, uh, yeah, little, little private stock sugar cane, super slow, more double flowers. And lastly, the, uh, twisting vines. 
And uh, same basic deal, just like the Crimson, it, these things grow super slow. But you can speed it up with bone meal. So, uh, so there it is, all set up and ready to go. And uh, I do, for no other reason than to build it, I plan on setting up a sea pickle farm, a glow lichen farm, and a glow berry farm. Uh, I may get a little vine set up going somewhere, a little cactus set up somewhere, and a small kelp deal. Just, uh, I don't, I don't actually know what I'd need the kelp for, except maybe to use the, the kelp blocks for decoration, but I had originally planned on putting a couple of those in here, but I kind of ran out of wall, and, and it irks me that this wall is, because I didn't measure, um, this wall is one longer than I really want it, so I might <laughs> I might move this wall over one, except that me moving all the machines down one, so no. Uh, I don't know. Or I might just leave it. I, it's fine. It's fine. Don't tell Rast. I need somewhere to put my beds other than on um, the balcony over the main entrance. So one of these two <laughs> rooms is going to be a bedroom. That, that's, yeah, I, I didn't want the balcony going up to nowhere. So I've got, it, it's going to overlook that massive room. That room is going to be like this one, another huge, massive deal. Um, I'm going to put two small rooms off of here. Something is going to go on the second floor over this, and something's going to go on the second floor over that. I just... I don't know what. That is, that is the... Uh, that's the ultimate problem. I just... I don't know... I don't know what I'm going to put there. I know one of these two is going to be a library, and one of these two is going to be a um, a, a bedroom. I just don't know which is going to be which, and what's going to happen with either one. So that that's kind of that. That's what I wanted to work on today: is clear out that space, figure out which is going to be which, and then start uh, start putting together a floor. Because if you noticed, I've tried to keep the floors a little bit different with a little variety. Um, the design is very similar in these because of uh, their proximity to each other. But the, the, the furnace room looks like a messy work room. The green room looks like a green room. Um, I kind of like the, the strip logs thing when it was four high, but that wouldn't have worked for... Uh, for space so let's uh, not fall off on stream so that's kind of where I'm at uh, I'm thinking ooh, I'm thinking I'm gonna be careful where the uh, I might not have I might not have a lot of room over here to work with because that ice right there is the the top of the mountain again all right so this might be an odd shaped room which would definitely uh, definitely make it a library sort of room. Because you can put bookshelves in all sorts of crazy setups and, uh, and it'll be okay. I would also like to know what that horrible noise just outside is. Oh, is that a, uh, I think that's a skeletal horse up there somewhere. Yeah. That's what that noise is. <laughs> you can stay right there. <laughs> you, sir, can stay right there. You know, you know who's not going to go chasing you down? This guy. Also, I'm pretty sure said skeletal horse is stuck in a pit of powdered snow somewhere. I still haven't gone on my quest against the powdered snow. Uh, that, that is, that is on the agenda, just not today. Um, I, I plan on putting together a little resource pack that colors all the powdered snow yellow. 
and then I'll start working on uh, on removing all the yellow snow. I don't want to say you're wrong for that, sir. I really do. Well, I mean, you don't want to step in either one of them, so. <laughs> <laughs> But leather boots keeps you protected from both. So. <laughs> well, uh. okay, good. I got just enough mountain left because I'm not going to bother with that corner since it's going to be hidden. I'm not going to bother with that corner since it's going to be hidden. Uh, don't tell rest. I, I didn't fill in the corners. I cheaped out on oh, the corners. I Oh, I know you don't. You don't just not fill. It. See, I'm at least leaving them filled in, so if anything happens, there there's something there. You, you're the one who left like the one grass block deep hole. Uh, the one, yeah, you covered the hole with a grass block and called it safe. Um, I I seem to recall that didn't quite work out so well. Well, it's not my fault you guys started digging. You know, that's, that's all you guys. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, so that, that, yeah, that's gonna be, that, that's gonna, uh, yep, yeah, that's the cold part of the house. I guess that limits who's uh, gonna come by for as house guests. <laughs> Goats, llamas, you know. Yeah. Uh, I noticed that uh, one of one of the Moyang developers, I forget who, was. That's not what I wanted. Um, that's probably with an efficiency shovel. Was uh, talking about how they're working on adding in uh, the functionality for the for the goat horn. So it'll actually be something that you can play, and but there hasn't been an indication of uh, what what good that will do for you. So you'll be able to get you'll be able to harvest a goat horn by tricking the goat into ramming a solid block. I don't know why I'm being so careful about picking up all the all the stone. I have more stone than I know what to do with right now. Um, anyway, so you, you trick a goat to ramming a, a solid block and it'll drop a goat horn. And right now they've got the animation and the sound set up. So the animation, you put it in your hand and it looks like you're, you're blowing a horn. Um, and the sound sounds like the the horn that happens right before a raid or during a raid. You know, at the start of each uh, wave. Yeah. I don't know what that's going to be used for. Uh, they haven't finalized what it's going to be used for yet. They're actively seeking feedback from the community. So if you do have thoughts... Uh, and useful suggestions. Do do send them over to uh, to the Moyang developers. I I do like that uh, that they are fairly talkative with the community. Obviously, given the size of the Minecraft community, they can't talk to everybody, but they do they do try to uh, they do try to talk to as many people as they can. And I knowing what that takes to to do, I am very appreciative of it, especially. Especially given what they got to do for their job, too. Like, I, I can only imagine what the the code base looks like after all these years and all and the number of people who have worked on it. It's one thing to work on a bit of software when it's just you and it's doing something relatively simple. Uh, <laughs> Not so much after that many years. Uh, all the fingers in the cake, right? Yeah. Yeah. It all those years, all those changes, all those times where somebody said, Well just do this real quick like this so we can get it out on release day and we'll fix it later. 
Uh, I, I I am very familiar with how that goes uh, from when I was actively doing software development. Uh, let me tell you, there's all sorts of things that you swear you're going to get back to later. And, uh, <clears throat> well, that, uh, yeah, about that. Somebody goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know you, you said you had some maintenance thingy to do on this, but we really need uh, this new functionality for by by next month. Uh, that that is your priority. But but no 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 that that is your priority. <laughs> okay. Although uh, to Mo Yang's credit and to Microsoft's too, uh, they they do seem to be a little bit better about uh, managing that sort of stuff than some of the other development houses I've seen. Oh wait, no, uh, uh, Bethesda is now going to be joining the crew. So uh, no, no, maybe, maybe we won't get really weird uh, uh, glitches like the the. The horse doing crazy stuff on the cliff in the next Skyrim, and uh. Bethesda? You mean Blizzard? Uh. Well, Bethesda, too, because Bethesda came as a part of their purchase of Zenimax. Oh, uh, okay. that's very true. I'm losing my mind. You're right. Yeah. When does, a, when does that cell become finalized? Um, I think the Bethesda one is, is in process. It's the Blizzard Activision one that's still going through regulatory approval. And, uh, uh. is pending, pending that. I need to get a proper storage closet going somewhere, too, because the this is... This is not the bee's knees. <laughs> I mean, I, I could always dump it all in community and say it's not my problem, but no. That doesn't seem That's right either. <laughs> totally what I do. Yeah, I know. Also cuts down on people, uh, you know. Hey, Mark, do you have X, Y, or Z? I don't know. Is it in community? Because <laughs> <laughs> if it's not in community, I ain't got it. <laughs> I need a few more. Uh... I'll be more than happy to help you get it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on the other hand, the number of times that I've looked for something in community that I knew was there and it went off on somebody else's project. Well. You gotta be, you gotta be willing to let that happen. So, what the community's about, you know, to let people know, hey, I, I need X, Y, and Z, and I'll to help you get what you need. That's what we do. Like, I'm pretty sure here in the next couple of days, you're gonna be like, hey, I need five billion. Uh, Magma blocks. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. Soon, soon as we get to the roof. Yeah, exactly. See? Huh? I'm no dummy. I know how this works. <laughs> right now it's rest and all her, you know, blackstone. But I, I know, I know. What's, blackstone I know what's or the on. deep slate? Deep slate, deep slate. There you go. I was gonna say because th those are two very different things. I ain't no dummy. I know what's coming. <laughs> I know who the next uh, requisition order is coming from. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. I thought I had mathed that out better. Nope. I had that feeling all the time. Games like, uh, you know, fine. That'll, that'll, that'll be enough. 
Stardew Valley where you have to count to delve, you know. Oh. It, it really makes me wonder if I passed math at all. <laughs> uh, there, there are, <laughs> there are days. <laughs> like, listen. Did my team like, just not like me and they passed me to get rid oh, of me? Oh, bel believe me. <laughs> I know. I know that math was not not my strong suit. Um, when, when you saw my SAT scores, uh, the old SAT kids, it, it changed between then and now. Uh, you, you had my English score and my math score. And it's like, I'm glad the colleges only look at the total because... <laughs> <laughs> the total met all the requirements. <laughs> that, that that should totally be enough, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. why, why am I looking for the lumber that I already already made? All right. Um. Oh, I already had a bunch of other books. Okay. Fine, 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 fine. All right, I, I need to... I'm thinking... Library and brewery over here. And then a bedroom over here. And then a way to look out here. No, this should be the library, shouldn't it? I think this room is just a smidge smaller, too. Yeah, I'll make that the library. This will be the bedroom. I, I just need a... Uh, need to get that on the right floor. Alright. Uh, hmm. Hmm. How do I want to do this? What floor do I want to put down? I mean, I could try to do something with bone blocks again. That worked out pretty well the last time, too. Uh, and then I gotta figure out... Uh, so I got that, and then I got another another bunch of uh, half slabs and stuff underneath for for spacing. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do under here. Hmm. All right. Well, let me figure out the library then. We're just gonna do a standard. Uh, Standard kind of uh, wood block door or floor. Now nah, it's got to be something. It's got to be something with a little pattern to it. Uh, I need to work. Make sure that there's some lighting in there as well. What do I have to work with? What inspires me? <laughs> Although. Since it's doubling as the ceiling here, I could just try the same basic design that I got going with this and do the stripped logs across the top. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for lighting. Unless I put the lighting in the wall, in the wall design. Yeah, yeah, let, you know what? Let's do that. 
let's do the strip logs for the floor. Uh, that, that might help with a little bit with the continuity too. Just like there's a little continuity between here and the walls and up there. Um, am I even making sense or am I just rambling more than normal? Uh, You're making sense. I, or, <laughs> glad somebody thinks so. Because uh, I, I gotta tell you that that little hiccup with uh, Twitch and XSplit kind of really threw me for a loop. That's all good. Mm, I wasn't feeling too good about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can say it's good, but I I, I was a solid like, oh, <laughs> guys, come on. Come on. Uh, All right. Um I guess it doesn't really matter what I put here, does it? Yes it does. Uh, well only for that one block. Because I also need the interior wall that's gonna go around here, so that that can officially be the only thing that's gotta matter on that side. Um, where's all that stone that I had so I can use that for filler? That stone that I didn't actually need to clear away. Yeah. That stuff. Well, did I, did I actually fill it in over there? No. No, I haven't yet. Okay. All right. Uh... Okay, I'm just running back and forth and putting stuff away and picking up the stuff that I just put away. Because that corner is not going to be seen by anything. So you say. Likewise here. And here. Not like this low light, Sam. I am. I do not like creeper spam. Oh. Maybe I need to fill in, <laughs> fill in the whole, the whole. Uh, Get, get scaffolding all over the place. Alright, uh, let's do that for now. And then it's just, uh... And no, I have no pattern. That That is uh, part of what I was trying to go with, is just variety, but not... Okay. But nothing overly... I don't even know what the word I'm looking for is. Art people, help me out. Where's Pinky can beach duck when you need him? Feeding the sharks? <laughs> Maybe.
Time to grab more spruce. Some more dark oak too. I shouldn't need that much. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, is that the nope? F three, not F two. Drip spruce. Okay, good. Do you know how many random screenshots I have like that from where I tried to hit um, F3 and, uh, yeah. Yeah. the uh, spider farms nearby too so I can take care of that XP the XP deficiency oh no I was trying not to put too much of that next to each other parachute that's not bad that's not bad for a roof at all I still feel like I need to hang some lights or something off and put some sort of some sort of decoration over the top I don't know what I would put though all right one problem at a time let's uh let's finish installing the let's finish installing the floor installed now uh, so that's gonna be the floor of the library I do want bookshelves but I don't think I want them for the wall uh, I would like to do some sort of wainscoting across the perimeter um, I've been doing that for the bottom floors but I don't really have one for the top yet uh, in part because I didn't, I didn't do one for up here. I couldn't find a way to make that look like it fit properly without an abrupt change. Um, so what do, with a with a nice wood floor? I mean, I could do stone brick because I got, I got so much stone brick. I don't want to do stone brick though. I want something. Darker. Do I do more with the blackstone to kind of pull some of the blackstone in here, or maybe, maybe some of the the smooth smooth basalt? Uh, I want I want something with bricks. I mean, I could always do something with the sandstone too, because we're trying to go with the the oh. That reminds me, I need to make some more looms for uh, empty bookshelves. Let, let's... Wait, why am I going here? I just killed a bunch of spiders to heal up all my tools. Uh, <laughs> that's what that's what I was doing while I was eating eating dinner. I needed uh, I needed to repair all my all my stuff, so I was over at the spider spawner uh, repairing stuff. Of course, that's where all that wool came from, anyway. <laughs> Converting the string from the uh, spider farm over, I, I think 
I think that's where the bulk of our wool for this season's come from so far, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Almost all of it. Wait, wait. How are you, How are you doing? How are you doing? I almost hear Joey going, how you doing? How are you doing? Hello? Hello? Yeah, definitely, definitely gonna get the, uh, the zombies next. Hi, friend. Would you like to duel? <laughs> I think I know how it's going to turn out. <laughs> I think I already get a bunch of a bunch of planks already. Okay, so we got fifteen of those, we got twenty of those. I want bookshelves in the wall, but I don't want the I don't want it just I guess I could repeat this motif, have uh, some pillars based with uh, polished basalt. Let's, uh, let's play with that, shall we? Let's, uh, hmm. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and one more. Because, of course, or do I. Just wrap it around. Oh. Wrap it around like this. Minecraft will a torch block your ability to uh, place a stone. Destroy mountains worth of uh, falling sand and. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> that too. Stickedly destroyed mountains of gravel in a single fell swoop. There we go. Although, you know what I haven't done anything with? I haven't done anything with quartz yet. Do I really want to do a quartz wall, though? No, not for a library. Uh, what do I want to make the wall out of? I mean, I could make I could make it out of the crimson. That's always an option too.
Ah. Maybe it'll look better once I get the, uh... Once I get the rest of the wall in. Alright, that's at least bad of the options I've uh, literally thrown against the wall. What do I want to do for the rest of this, though? Alright, so quartz is still an option. What do I have handy? I can do something with sandstone again, because that, that wouldn't be too bad. I've got some terracotta. I'm not doing glazed terracotta, though. Uh, I've got some terracotta that I could definitely dye. could just do concrete. I could do concrete. I haven't done much of anything with concrete. Uh, Ever. Ever. Uh, I could go back to back to planks or something like that for the wall. Uh, I could do some of the crimson, but I'd have to grow those. Uh, the tough really isn't going to work in there, though. So probably not tough. I've got the nether brick over in the furnace room. I'd have to go. I'd have to go kill a uh, geode to get any of that. Well, I wouldn't mind putting some calcite in there. Which one do you need to kill the uh, thing for? Uh, the calcite. I don't want to check the castle uh, thing. Oh yeah, because I, I thought you tore down most of a geode. Yeah, I tore down two or three, actually. Oh. Yikes. Yeah. Did did you at least <laughs> leave the budding amethyst there to be harvested later, or...? Oh, totally. Totally did. Um, totally also forgot to mark coordinates to where those budding amethysts are. <laughs> <laughs> well, is, isn't that useful? It totally is. Yeah. Wow. I can tell you that they are in the huge digging mine that is underneath the castle. <laughs> That's the best I got for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I could always do a bunch of. Oh no, I can't. I can't even do that in a joke. No, go, go. No, no. <laughs> Good work. Uh, hi, the fifties called. They wanted their color palette back. Oh, it's not that bad. No. no it's 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 nineties nursing home. That's all it is. <laughs> 90s. <laughs> yeah, because it was because it, it contained all the people from the 50s that were finally there. <laughs> uh, I could go do some unoxidized copper. What would mix with unoxidized copper? We could do some red red sand and unoxidized copper, or red sandstone and unoxidized copper. Let me get that squared away first. Get that out of my inventory. Um, right, I think I'm done with the logs for the moment. Done 
the scaffolding for the moment. Uh, I need... I need to go pillage some coffer. Coffer. Copper. Copper. <laughs> so you need some coffee? Is that what I... Ah, uh, well, I mean, obviously. <laughs> Because if I wax that... Mm, no, that, that's... That's almost. But it, it's just the wrong sort of almost. Alright. Um, that's probably going to be the same. Yeah, that's... No. Ah! Come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm not anywhere near the beacon. Tuft isn't very tough. <laughs> what, what can I mix with a block of copper that would work? Um, where did I have the red sand stash? <laughs> Probably put it in there somewhere, but uh, where where am I gonna put it in there? There we go, for now. <laughs> mm. Would the jungle planks work? You know, do do something like that, but with these guys. Hmm. Yeah. It could work. Maybe. Of course. I mean. Uh, all right. Let me go see what kind of copper supplies we got at community storage and make sure I don't <laughs> steal too much of somebody's. That's a funny joke there, sir. What? We've got tons of copper. Really? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> we have so much copper, it's coming out of our ears. Actually, let me see what we got over here before I fly all the way over, all the way over there. <laughs> all the way over. Yeah, that's like all the way over there, man. Well, for me it is, not for you guys. What do you mean, for you it is? Where are you at? Where are you at? You're not even in the game. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> no, I don't have an elytra again. I need to take a couple of stacks of stone and go uh, nether bridging, or end bridging. No, you do Oh, you mumbled that last part. I said I might do that between now and next stream. Oh, uh, the walk of shame. <laughs> yeah. That's right, because you had that misadventure in the end. Yep. Uh, Accident posted a funny clip. Uh, which... Okay, so so he he's obviously coming back to where he died, and he's looking through his inventory... All right, I got everything except for my armor, my wings, and my sword. And then he looks in the river, and there's a zombie wearing his armor, his wings, and his sword. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Somewhere under my mountain is a zombie with some of my early game gear. I have yet to find him. I don't know where he is. The acacia, that might work better than the jungle. Sorry. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Acacia's got quite a bit of orange in it. Well, yeah. Oh. Yeah, alright. I, I guess I got a little bit of copper here. Uh, I'll, I'll cook my own. <laughs> I mean... 
actually it's not like I I can just load it up in that uh, smelter smelter array too. <laughs> that's right. That's what I saw. I, I was trying to remember what combination I saw with copper and a wood. All the is all this acacia or is this jungle? This is jungle. That's jungle. Mm -hmm. Although it is jungle with the raw copper too, as opposed to the the work the worked copper, the finished copper. Uh, what what do you what do you even want to call that? The coppery copper. Let me uh. I'll have to. Yes, this is good. Well, I was really trying to avoid doing resource gathering, but uh, I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't keep uh. Can't do anything in Minecraft without at least a little bit. Oh, well, it's not even, it's not even so much that. It, it's I was trying to avoid doing that a, as part of the the yeah. live stream type stuff. Like no, nobody wants to see me sitting there cutting down a cutting down the eight hundred and seventh uh, jungle tree. Oh, it's they'll like it. <laughs> the, you'll like it because I said you'll like it, right? Something like that. Exactly. They'll, they'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> you'll like it because I said so, Dad. At some point, right? <laughs> Although, you know, it's going to be really nice. This does give me an excuse to just go. Bloop. <laughs> and away it goes. That's satisfying to see it used. That, that 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 is somewhat satisfying. Although I'm wondering if I can figure out a way to do this to uh, double it up to 32 furnaces. Oh my goodness, man! What? I just finished building it. <laughs> uh, th that doesn't mean I can't make it bigger. Just be happy it works for a few minutes. <laughs> I am. See, I I'm happy it works for the 3940 that are trickling through. I mean. We we could get faster than this with uh with a thirty two furnace, right? I mean, look at that. It, we had that little pause there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Why don't we just go see? Crazy. I mean, look. I I, I I I had to wait this long for a full stack of stuff to cook. I mean, what 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 kind of what kind of horrible? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't even finish that one. <laughs> Okay, why don't you just go ahead and build Cub fans from like two seasons ago? <laughs> that giant warehouse. Why don't you just go ahead and do that? Don't, okay? don't, don't you, don't you tempt me. I, yeah, I dare you. I, you know what? At this point, I dare you. I dare you. Gut that mountain and build that warehouse. I dare you. You, you just want, you just want a mountain-sized furnace, right? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> you know what? Pro prove to everybody that you're a, that you're a dwarf. What? Get, make go ahead and make that furnace. <laughs> I don't think you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, look at how long this is taking. Uh, this is just. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep talking about it. Of course, if I if I if I run this through the one that uh, that does the, the 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 blast furnace instead of the regular furnace, that that would kind of help this along too. And look at how long it, it's taking for a stack at a time. Oh, that's right. Well, uh, while that was running, I was going to go grow a couple of jungle trees and <laughs> get that get that squared away too. Oh boy! <laughs> I don't think I'll need more than one one two by two jungle tree for this project, though. By the way, hi medic. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Um. I'm thinking there might be something wrong with my axe, or my pickaxe. Uh-oh. I have efficiency 5, and I'm over here near the beacon, and I'm still not insta-mining. Uh, what is it that you're trying to mine? Because that will make a difference. 
stone. Uh, deep slate or regular stone? Regular stone. Okay. Uh, you know why I was asking. Yep. yep. Deep yeah, slate. I know about deep slate. slate. Yeah. Huh. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I'm mining fast enough. It's just not an insta mine. Well, it's interesting. Is I'm it ever really fast enough? I mean, if you really wanted to, if you really wanted to get through it pretty quick, you could always do the whole moss thing too. Where you bone meal moss to turn it into moss blocks, and then use a efficiency hoe to. Yeah, and that also leaves all the ores behind, too. Yeah, but the question is, do we need uh, moss more than we need stone? Do we need stone? Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> have, you, have you looked at community storage lately? <laughs> well, I just know that you can build a lot more stuff out of stone than you can moss, and... We haven't even really begun to make any big farms yet. Oh, true. I mean, could always make a bigger farm. Of course, I guess that really only goes for, like, me and uh, Arcadius and... Re well, not even Reyes, because Reyes is using nothing but Blackstone this season, but... At least for me and Arcadius, because I know all your farms generally are 99.9% .9 wool. Eh, uh, just, just the parts that hold the redstone. <laughs> I mean, no less of an authority than Mumbo and Jumbo said that that's, uh, that, that's what the pros use. Mm -hmm. Did I get all the branches? Okay. A little bits. I was getting worried there that I didn't get enough saplings to uh, to do another one. That's happened to me more times than I care to mention. <laughs> nah, just a few. That all of that memories of Skyblock. Oh, <laughs> oh, there's more. Hiding in the snow. Yeah, th this really is not the the best place to to do that. Let me let me leave the saplings here. What? Oh, no, 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 you can stay there. I'll, I'll go sleep real quick. Well, oh, no, I was gonna I was gonna I was gonna, I was gonna return the saplings that I had uh, pulled from community storage. We have um, visitors. Oh. Do, do I need to go grab my flint and steel and uh, burn them to the ground? We may end up having to have one of them flint and steel. But I am going to try to lure them away from our villagers because they seem to be hanging out around there. I got my flint and steel ready. Where are they at? Yeah. Uh, I just got two of them, but I don't see the rest of them now. Where do you go? <laughs> Tweety. I mean, it could be. Or are they hiding back here somewhere? I probably wandered into a cave or something. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, so I guess I got the only two that were hanging out. Huh. 
watch me run into it somewhere else. Oh yeah, you know, that's when you walk into the stables and get shot from behind a mule. Yeah. <laughs> behind a mule. <laughs> yeah, you laugh it up. I will. <laughs> Uh, that's where I found one of them before. He was hiding right over here and looking like he was getting ready to shoot me. <laughs> Pretty funny. No lie. <laughs> you know, I hear an Arcadius, but I don't see an Arcadius. Nah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Watch out for that hill. <laughs> All right, Maverick. Sorry, is that too old a reference to? Talk to me, Goose. Although they were gonna do that, they were gonna do that. Uh, is it really a sequel? I mean, it kind of is, but not really. Oh, that's right. This is where I found one of the caves that I need to finish lighting up to. Um, surely this can't take that long, can it? Famous last words. Two weeks later. <laughs> I'm lost under my own mountain. <laughs> Send help and potatoes. That's okay. <laughs> feel that way all the time. Which way was up? Of course, what I worry about is, is not when I run into one of these while I'm building. It's when I run into, like, a ginormous ravine while building or something like that. You know, like, like, I, like I'm going to go knock out a wall thinking, all right, I'm just going to put this little storage room right over. No, no, nothing's going here. <laughs> that, that is what, yeah. Oh, come on. How many, how many little branches are there? I hear you, spider. I've been this way before. Ha! I wonder which. I wonder if this is near that wall that I keep hearing stuff in. Because I know there's one of the walls of my base that I almost always hear something like some skeleton rattling around or, or some spider crawling about. He's a Canadian spider, of course, don't you know? <laughs> That's about to be. <laughs> ah, I beat I'm you too. you so hard. <laughs> I will have to come back through here with a uh, fortune pick and grab all the coal and iron. And I mean, because we're so short on iron. <laughs> No, that, that thing is doing nicely. Yeah, the, um... Slion Farm isn't doing so well, and I'm I'm still working well, on it. Well, don't, don't forget, I came through recently and pillaged a bunch of slime. <coughs> so that way I get the, uh, the next round of the sugarcane farm going. I need to make another trip out to the end... More shulker boxes. Oh no 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 no! It's okay. That sounded bad. It's okay. Hey. Get wrecked. Uh, oh, we are really low on wood, aren't we? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, there are 
are some nice resources in here if I ever get around to coming through, but th this is this this is so not what I came in here for anyway. Where where am I? Where even am I? Besides in my mountain. I'm lost in my own mountain. Y'all calling me a dwarf. How many dwarves do you know get lost in their own stupid mountain? Well, I could probably say you're not in your mountain anymore as much as you've gone in a direction, but... Like, like... Like, I'm fairly certain the coordinates for the mountain are about a... Did, did, did Thorn ever get, get lost under the lonely mountain? He is a dwarf and he's lost in his mountain. I mean, I guess on the other hand, those are not the dwarves that get the epics uh, <laughs> sung about them. I was about to say, I mean, they didn't get lost in their mountain. They just lost their mountain. Well, yeah, dragons do that. I mean, you, you tell the dragon that he should really find another mountain. I, I'll sit back. It, oh, 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 go oh, away. I, I, don't, I don't want what you're selling. been this way before. So saith all the torches. Alright, you know what? This is out. I, I I successfully lit more cave under my mountain, so I'll, I'll call it a win. Oh, I know which side I'm on now. Okay. Why, why am I... Why am I fighting with this? It's been that kind of day. It's been that kind of day. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't that great of a day for me either. And I, I drew the lottery number on angry people calling. Oh. And, you know, it's always my fault that. Well, yeah. They're having issues. Isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Because yeah, I'm the one that makes policy. Mm -hmm. That's how that works. I almost forgot I had that uh, that copper cooking. Let me go grab the rest of that. Of course, that's like when I woke up this morning and realized I forgot to move my laundry from the washer to the dryer. Urgh. Yeah. Yeah, I that that is the one downside to doing it the where it, it has a little timer to uh, or a counter to make sure that you have at least thirty two i or yeah thirty two items before sending it off. As if you got some random six items, it won't uh, it won't go. Um, so I added this button here so you can push it. The problem is that six items means that duplicator is never going to turn on. Although, it should even out in the long run. I guess we'll find out here. Um, it should even out so that way the next time it runs, it, it'll oh, more than compensate for the four that got pulled out of all those. Good. Theoretically, at least. Most likely? We'll go with most likely. Alright, now i got to remember to wax all this copper, too. K. 
Can you wax the copper before you put it down, or do you have to wax it after you put it down? Uh, wax on, wax off. Thank I you. Don't know. Actually, the answer is both. You can wax it in your inventory, or you can wax it on the ground. Okay. I had to make the awful joke first, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm new to waxing. Beard, I mean. <laughs> no. One one solid tug, and you know, mm -mm. you gotta shave for a little while. Uh, I I've already gotta figure out just how how far back I want to trim it because there really isn't enough room in the mask for both me and my beard. <laughs> just get a bigger beard or a bigger mask. That's all. So that that, that is becoming a a small a small problem. <laughs> you not seen mine lately <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you know you're all you're all work from home and stuff the, the only man the only mask mandate is when you decide you know oh no i'm feeling sick i, I ought to pr protect my local co-workers from <laughs> no, the only mask mandate is when i've had chili hmm. that's a different mask that's what mop mop two yeah yeah Or does it depend on who made the chili? Uh, well, yeah, it definitely <laughs> depends on that because, you know, some people that think chili is like hamburger meat with, uh, you know, gravy on it, that doesn't work. You, you mean it's not a little, uh, a little spaghetti sauce and, uh... Yeah. Although, I... Uh, I mean, as much as I want to give Arcadius a hard time, I, I did kind of enjoy that uh, Wells Knight decided that since Cincinnati was uh, in the Super Bowl, uh, he was going to have some um, he was going to have some Skyline chili for dinner. No, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that Skyline's not good. Oh, hey, hey don't don't hear what I'm not saying either. Skyline is it's not tasty. Chili. Yes, it is. It's just not chilly. As conventionally defined. Skyline is like a, a, a Texan went to Italy and decided to make spaghetti. I am not going to pick on it because I would like it to be made in the household again. I'm not picking on it at all. It's really good. You know, I, nothing like a good four-way. With the little oyster crackers and some Tabasco sauce. Mm. Oh, I need... Uh... And then a couple of cheese conies to go with it. Mm. So now I'm hungry again, and I already ate... Of course, I, I will admit that I was more of a Gold Star fan than a Skyline fan. Gold Star. I'm drawing a blank on that one. Gold Star Chili is the other... Uh, the the main... It, it, so Gold Star and Skyline is like McDonald's and Burger King. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I only know of Skyline because of a certain Ohio State fan. That's not true. What? You've had all three. Have I? You've had, you've had Skyline, you've had uh, Cincinnati, and you've had Gold Star. It's just a matter of which one I can get my hands on. There we go. Getting the packets down here is atrocious. <laughs> I know one of the one of the the, the last place had uh, had some too. Had uh, the packets handy. No. Well, at certain grocery store chains, you can get some of the cans now, but getting the packets so you can make the large amounts. Gotcha. 
Um, yeah, getting those is hard. <laughs> like you can go on to Amazon and try to order them, but it's always well. done through like a third party, and it's always marked up like someone wants to pay for their kid's college with it or something. Because oh, somebody <laughs> probably is paying for their kid's college with it. Yeah, but I mean, it's like they want to give you six packets, which is like a pot of packet. At yeah. The, uh, at the exorbitant amount of their entire tuition for a year. <laughs> Alright. Actually, I think I'll fill in the planks first. And then I'll go back in and add the strip logs. That's not the way I did it the last time, but I think that's the way I'm going to do it this go around. I still need to figure out lighting, though. How do I want to light this? And how high is the roof going to go to? So I need to put some more copper blocks on that wall too, but I didn't have uh, a convenient place to drop stuff. Where's Reyes? Uh, working late, I think. Yeah, that's pretty late. Yeah. Hey. How did... Never mind. I don't want to know. I, I, I know that work has become an interesting place there as well. Is she still at the same place that she was at when you guys first got up there? Yep. I didn't know if she had went back to the older place. No. I I don't I don't think that's gonna happen ever again. I'll get some more light up there in a little bit. <laughs> Why can't I move forward? Probably because I put a copper block too high. Since I don't know how tall I'm going to make the roof, I'll stop this at the same height as that side. Uh, let's add... I found, uh, I found those guys again. Yeah? Yep, I found the rest of them. 
Where, where were they hiding? They're all, all out in the middle of nowhere near the... No, no, go away, go away. Come up, <laughs> come over this way. Over this way, get away from all them. There you go. Get away from all. Come, come over here. <laughs> Uh, you got it, or do you need some help? As long as... Okay, so there's that guy. He's the only one that's ah, I knew I forgot something. Okay. Uh, no. I do not have my bucket of milk on me, so I will have to come back for you. I didn't mean to... I shouldn't, uh... That's why I had such a... I was like, why did I have so many logs? And why did I turn them into into planks? Because I was going to add those. There it is. Could be an option. I killed him and I didn't get the bad thingy. Oh, never mind. Raiding coming. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I, I was getting ready to jump out over there, like, all right, here we go. No, he just, I killed him, but he didn't, uh, I didn't get the the bad omen. Hmm. I wonder why. I mean, I'm not complaining. Don't don't hear what I'm not saying. Like, <laughs> gonna have to go harvest another jungle tree because I screwed up. Yeah, I think um, at some point in the next few days, I'm just going to spend like an entire couple of hours doing nothing but harvesting trees. Yeah, I think about that from time to time as well. Because I've gone through a significant chunk of trees uh, on this particular project. Of course, I also keep looking at maybe doing a, a simpler tree farm to start with, because I've seen a couple that that look like they're uh, like they'd be good enough for the stage of the game that we're at. Um, they only work on the on the trees that can be grown one by one, so you wouldn't be able to do any dark oak with it. But you could definitely get a ton of birch and oak and uh, and spruce for sure. Uh, potentially jungle. I don't remember if it technically handled jungle or not. In all honesty, though, I mean, do we actually... I don't really use wood for much of anything other than making chests and... Well, and that... Occasional trap door or something well i say that as i go I, I need more jungle trees especially since i broke down more than i had intended to um so i might not be the one to ask about that <laughs>
one of the main reasons why I love doing the 4x4 four four spruce. Because I can do two trees and I've got enough to get me, you know, 50 chests. Yeah. And even the even the jungle trees are like that to to an extent as well. Uh That lumber situation is a hot mess. Torch isn't going to help me fly up the mountain, is it? Alright, let's try this again. Again, I don't, I don't use too much jungle. Although, uh, I've been thinking about trying to, trying to design my own cocoa bean farm. Wait, is that really as tall as this screw? I just got done bragging on how much, how many logs I could get from a two by two jungle tree, and this is what I get. This is what I get? I mean... Now, oh, well, it's enough to finish this project. And that's all that really matters, isn't it? I heard of Java. Oh yeah, of course you heard of Java. This is dinner time. He makes sure that he's heard around dinner time. He'll call the SPCA on us as soon as he can figure out a phone. <laughs> <laughs> they don't feed me fast enough. They don't feed me. I'm starving. I mean, look, there's ribs under here somewhere. If you squeeze really hard, you can feel my ribs. heard that fox squeal and for a second I thought it was uh, Jabba on a squeaky toy. quite done with it. Which box did I put the copper away? Why does everything I'm looking for always go away? All right, we'll go with that. Um, well, that's not a number wide. That's going to make that a little difficult. Oh, especially since uh, I forgot that I was going to put a door into the next room over here anyway. Um, sure, we'll make this a two wide door then. Because I totally intended it to be that way. 
Which means I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need more of the polished basalt again. Why do you fail me so? Alright, so if we're doing it like that, then I actually need to change that. To go like that. that Minecraft had a way to uh, pick directionality of blocks like this without without having to do the weird geometric like I shuffle my character just so that also means that these two are going to need to be something else. Uh, actually, let me just grab another strip spruce and strip oak. Or another spruce and another oak. I'm not far behind. I got off to a later start than I wanted to because uh, Twitch and XSplit had a failure to communicate. Of course, every time I say that, all I can hear is what we have here is a failure to communicate. And then I realized how old that probably just made me. Ooh. Hmm? There's a nice chainmail helmet in here. Oh, yeah. Arcade might want. <laughs> Are you sure he doesn't have it already? It's a Protection 3, Unbreaking 3, Respiration 2. Mm-hmm. Do I have respiration on there? No, I just got mending and protection on my noggin protector. I really do need to get uh, respiration. Is it aqua affinity? Which one? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, and am I going to make all the doors on this level spruce doors? Yeah, I guess so, because I got all the doors on the first level, those warp doors. Surely I've got, oh, no, I've only got one more spruce door, naturally. Ah, well, no. I'll need more later. They're not going to go to waste. Nope, that's not what I wanted. And a 
partridge in a pear tree. Yeah. Um, just for no good reason, I'm going to throw an enchanting station in there. I mean, who doesn't want an enchanting station in your mountain base? Problem is, I kind of screwed up on the spacing. All right. Uh, is it 16 or 18 for a full enchanting station? I know, I know. Okay, um, three, six, nine, ten, twelve, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I was hoping I'd find it on the uh, on the wiki page 16. awfully quick, but sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Sixteen. So if they're going to be along that side there, that needs to stay clear. Sure, because so. that would uh. Although I mean, it doesn't doesn't have to be a perfect one. Yeah, let me definitely make sure I got my silk touch axe on this one. Um, Because again, uh, this is more for decoration than it is for anything else. From the uh, from the third one up, it probably won't with my luck, but eh. have a good one. Where was the farming? Okay, okay. I right. <laughs> will see y'all later. Good night, man. Take care. Far behind. Of course, I say that, and and I keep going. Eh, let, let me just uh, figure this part out. And oh no, no, I'm 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 done. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, let me just. Uh, what if I throw some half slabs across here?
I am kind of curious. What uh, kind of junk do I have there? To toss on there and see. Actually, I think I can... Uh, 28. <laughs> Where can I find one that's just... Uh, actually, because I don't think it pulls from the top ones anyway. It does. Three up. It does three up? Okay. It does three up in adjoining squares. Still fit. Think like, think like a conduit. There we go. I made it work anyway. <laughs> With only two empty bookshelves on the corner there. <laughs> no, well, no, because I'm gonna throw. I'll throw another section of bookshelves across the back with a few more of the empty shelves. I I need more decorations and I need lighting. How am I going to light this place? I mean, I could set a fireplace in the back, too. That would help with the lighting and the decoration. That's a thought. Because this is supposed to be like a library study type deal. And then what am I going to put on the up there on the, sh <laughs> on the shelves? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Alright. That's... That's about it for now. He says as he grabs a few more books and goes, Okay, I can, I can get a couple more shelves together. <laughs> You're an addict. I just... No, I, I just need to finish this one more thing. You can quit any time, right? Mm hmm I do at least once every day before going to bed. Wasted all that time decorating the wall back there only to hide it with bookshelves. Nah, that way if I ever decide to move it and whatnot, it'll uh it'll it'll still be okay.
Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to go uh, go get some more zombie flesh and uh, cook up some more leather. Although now that this room is complete, I like it, except I need I need a little more on the roof. I, I need something to hang. Um, to include lights. I got the dark oak leaves that I'm not really using. Hey Axonim, how's it going? Somehow I keep saying I'm going to, uh... Ooh, I do have some glowberries. I could do that. I don't have much, though. And I want to make sure that I don't block access to that, so maybe maybe I'll throw one there. And throw... No, not there. Um, sorry. I know how to fix this lack of glowberries problem. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I almost... Uh, where did I put that string so these things don't uh, overtake... Overtake my interior. <laughs> oh... Yeah, one... <laughs> I keep saying one more thing. One more thing, and then I'll call it a night. You yeah, have one more thing yourself to... <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Interesting. You can't put uh, glowberries under leaves. Huh. All right. Yeah. That works. <laughs> I don't know about Glowberry Tree. I just I just wanted to get a little more light and a little more something going around the roof there. Uh, cuz it was it was looking just a, a smidge too a smidge too plain. Not let any of that go to waste. And I still need to set up a uh, a bone meal glowberry farm. I just kind of ran out of uh, ran out of wall. Of course, maybe with that a little more built up over there, you won't notice that that side of the wall is one block longer than that side. <laughs>
Come on. Alright, I'll keep playing with that and maybe put some more or rearrange it a little bit. Uh, I'm probably going to have to run around with the the Silk Touch and get some more leaves. Although I've got a bunch... Uh, those are just the Dark Oak leaves that I I had handy. I think, I, I think I've still got a bunch of leaves that are going to go into the Sugarcane Farm project there. They should be... Yeah. Yeah, I got 663... Uh, oak leaves all ready to go for that project along with some sugarcane dirt and various and sundry other materials because um, that uh, that's going okay I just uh, I need it I need it producing more so I still got to get the glowberry farm going which I may I may reclaim a little bit of that spot there to get that going uh, I need a glow lichen farm. I think I'll put the kelp and the sea pickle farms somewhere else and leave those there. Um, I want to set up a, a cactus farm somewhere as well. I might, I might wait until we're further along in the community project and just find a place to set up a cactus farm like I did in the skyblock season. So that way we'll have all the cactus we could ever need and then some. And then uh, maybe Rhea still have enough green dye to take care of, take care of things. Maybe it could happen. Um, so that that's kind of a reminder of some of the stuff that I need to do, plus some extra moss blocks from growing the floor. And uh, <laughs> that that's that's not bad. That's not bad. I I need some more decoration though. I need to figure out what 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 goes in a what goes in a little mini crop farm area and I'll I'll decorate the the uh, the main lobby area once I figure out how the roof is going to go and then once I get a ceiling on here I'll uh, I'll figure out what I'm going to do with this uh, the, this one might end up, uh, I might end up pulling the roof down just one lower. I don't know. Make it feel a little more closed in. I mean, this is the workroom where all the lava and the smelting and the stuff goes. It's getting there. It's getting there. I appreciate it. Uh, th this is not a bad idea for a small scale deal, especially if you can get a backlog of lava buckets going. And so for small scale smelting, that does, that does okay. Uh, we, we got the bigger one in the caldera of the mountain over in the center there. Uh, it's coming along. I think I want to put it like a little porch or something uh, up there that leads into that room. It'll also give a little more feature to the wall. Um, so it's not quite so... Bleh. <laughs> And I got uh, and I got these guys down here. Uh, temporary farm setup. Eventually, I'm gonna get a larger sweetberry farm going with a couple more of these guys. But I mean, I only set this thing up Friday, and we've already got two double chests full of sweet berries, and we're starting to get uh, enough of a backlog that uh, they'll it'll start pumping into the uh, yeah. So we we should be getting to where uh, it'll start pumping into the bone meal before too long I got that industrial beehive that's going to happen eventually as soon as I get to the nether roof in the meantime let's uh, get those honey blocks now uh, there we go Oh, 
That's been doing okay. And, and oh yeah, I, I'm getting plenty of honeycomb. Like, I, I even wouldn't mind, instead of doing a 50-50 split on these 16 beehives for the honeycomb honey bottles, maybe, maybe pulling, uh, like... Six for the honeycomb and the rest for the bottles because the the bottles take a little bit longer to accumulate in useful useful numbers like uh, the honeycomb every time the shears fire you get three honeycomb every time this fires you get a bottle of honey um, so that that might be one where I actually want to do a, a different split. So there's more more for the bottles than there is for the uh, for the honeycomb. But something something will go down here. I haven't quite figured out what's going on in the basement. Oh, I'm about to name all the all those foxes. Silence me. Um, something will go in here as soon as I figure out what. Something else behind besides the stairs will go in there. Uh, just like I got a room over on that side, I'll have a room over on this side as soon as I figure out what. This is going to lead out to a porch that overlooks the giant room that's going to be dug out on the other side as soon as I can figure out uh, just how much space I have to work with. Because I know I've got that far out, but I'm not sure how far up I have, especially since the, the mountain does seem to taper off pretty pretty quick like that's that's the outside of the mountain right there um, or maybe I just do a little more terraforming I was trying I was so trying not to do that and maybe I will end up doing that anyway <laughs> I also need food of course once we get to the nether roof uh, I'll probably set up one of the uh, the piglin farms like I had in season one and then I can live off of cooked pork chops and never have to worry about food again because I, I think one AFK session and I had a shulker box full of cooked pork chop uh, it's getting there yeah, it's getting there and that's just my spot. We we got a we got a nice little community build going too. No, uh, oh, that's what I came up here for. Because I need to move my I need to move my bed so it's not the <laughs> it's not the porch. Let me uh, because Rayest has been busy too. Yeah, nah. Reyes has been busy too. Uh, she she has been going. Uh, <laughs> call it a hammock. She's been going. Arcadius medic. Could you guys get me some more deep slate? Because this is the castle that she's working on. It, it's uh yeah one two three, um, and, and growing. Yes, all those are deep slate bricks. <laughs> uh, eventually, the owner of that house is about to get a relocation package. He can't refuse. Same with that guy there. This is going to be the grand entrance going in. Uh, we're divvying up the rooms for decoration purposes. So each of us is going to decorate different parts of the castle. My assignment is the dining room over here. And I, I still have no idea what I'm going to do for the dining room other than I was thinking a nice, like, oval uh, table here, maybe uh, uh, some stained, stained glass style wall art uh, for at least that window. Um, and then maybe set up, like, a, a bar over <laughs> <laughs> you know, with 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 uh, you know, get get the potions and all that set up so that way it looks like you know a little bar in a fancy dining hall. Um, I think Arcadius is going to do the kitchen in here. Um, Reyes already put in the calcite floors. She did not like that I put in some filled composters underneath the drain to to make it look like you know most kitchen drains. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh no, we 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 are gonna go full armor stand on this too. Yeah. But I mean, th this is th this is gonna be massive. Th this will be the season long project, and this this is gonna be a ginormous community build. We're gonna get all the villagers for trading in here. Like this, this area is going to be the library, and it's gonna have all the librarian uh, trading villagers walking around in here. The kitchen's gonna have the butcher and the. Uh, shepherd and the the uh, farmer villagers for trading purposes um and, and so we're, we're going to theme it like that so instead of just doing your standard like hall of stalls where everybody's there you, you're going to have you know the kitchen theme traders in here and you're going to have the, the librarian theme traders in there. There's going to be a workroom. I think it's going to be downstairs, maybe, in the servants' quarters. Or somewhere around here is going to be a place where the armor or weaponsmith and blacksmith go and, and that kind of stuff. Um, this area under here used to be part of the hill, uh, part of the natural terrain. And Arcadia spent a day or two digging this out. And so it's all this space under here. I mean, the I, I dare say this is probably one of the more ambitious build projects we've ever done. And we thought some of the earlier ones were ambitious. And now we're looking at it like, I mean, uh, the, the, the ziggurat that Arcadius built before we even started Coffee Craft ain't got nothing on this, and that felt massive at the time. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. And Medic's been working on that iron farm using uh, Impulse's design, so we've got villagers to start working on. He's got them. Uh, he's got them under there, trading up and getting ready. Uh, that's where the uh, the oh oh glitch. <laughs> that's where the uh, slime farm is, and we're just trying to clear out the. Uh, I say we. He's been working on that. He's been working hard on that to try to get the the rates up. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you're not completely wrong on that, and, and I I don't know if there there are still plans to for everybody to work on their little corner of the mountain too or not. Uh, I intend to keep uh, keep on this part of the mountain too, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be working on my portions of the castle and keep working on this uh, this little mountain haven. And so that that's that's where things are at. Yeah, I don't I don't think we have much for the time lapse. Okay, I I, I wasn't sure where where things sat with that because I of course I know that castle's a big one because that's where the trading hall and all that is. Uh, we got a couple of temporary things down here. Uh, need to get a bubble vader going here now. Now that we got all the stuff to do that. Ladders are so like version 1.8 <laughs> a little uh carpet duplicating furnace array it's only 16 furnaces though I, I think I can build a bigger one uh, th this is not following anybody in particular's diagram this was me trying to figure it out by myself this time and get it set up so that way once this furnace turns on it turns on the carpet duplicator and then once that furnace finishes its last one it turns off the only problem with that kind of a setup though is if you have a partial a partial burn uh, and you don't have that 16th item down at the end it doesn't turn on the carpet duplicator but uh, I mean if push comes to shove uh, where's a where's a stick and 
I was gonna say, do we have cobble? Oh, we we got we got more cobble than we know what to do with. Until we need another set, stack of dispensers, then uh. <laughs> Once you need another stack of dispensers, the, then all bets are off. So, I mean, there there is a manual override if you need to get the carpet duplicator going, too. But I'm really trying to keep it as automated as possible, so it takes zero effort. All you gotta do is drop in the input and wait. Oh, I still think I can make that twice as big. I'm pretty sure I can make that twice as big. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Again, sorry about the late start. Twitch and XSplit, we're getting. Uh, <laughs> it can always be bigger. Uh, Twitch and XSplit, we're having a fun time. It is now uh, about 20 after 9, and I still got to get uh, the archive uploading to YouTube and all that. So I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to... I'm going to wonder if... Okay, so Twitch is showing Beast Lord on again. Uh, I tried to raid him last week, and it didn't show him as one of the channels available for a raid for some reason. And, and I, I was kind of mad about that, because, you know, I, I should probably actually, you know, hit the... There we go. It helps when you hit the right screen. Or so I've been told. So thank you for joining along Tuesdays, 6.30 adjacent uh, <laughs> Coffee Craft. Fridays is still up in the air. The, uh, there's a lot going on uh, off off camera, and that, that's kind of making it hard to get back on to the game's revisited plan with that. But that, that should be happening before too long soon. So stick around for the raid. Let's go say hello to Beast Lord. And uh, yeah, man, it's always a toss-up between Beast Lord J and Grimly. They're both wonderful streamers. They're wonderful guys. G-R-I-M-L-I. -I. He streams a little more frequently than Beast Lord and uh, closer to my home time zone. Um, that, that's also because he's out of working out of my home state. Uh, Beast Lord J is over on the uh, on the other coast. So, uh, but yeah, they're, they're both great people. And of course, Axonim in chat, uh, for those of you that, that haven't given him a follow, do so too. I gotta, I gotta get the shout out thingy working. I, I keep, I keep saying I'm going to work on stuff like that over the weekend and then I go build a sugarcane farm instead. <laughs> All right, stick around for the raid and I will see you guys next time.